Scientists at this wolf research centre are comparing how wolves and dogs solve practical problems. They've raised packs of grey and black wolves in captivity alongside a number of dogs, and all have been kept in identical conditions. They hope to find out how thousands of years of domestication have affected dog intelligence. Researcher Jofi Virani showed me one of her most recent experiments. On the board lying on the ground, we will lay out two strings. Mm -hmm. One of the strings will be connected to a piece of cheese. The other string is not connected to the cheese. But there is Before cheese I... at the end of it, yes. but it's not connected uh -huh. to but it. But there's no, no physical connection. To a human, it's obvious that you need to pull the string connected to the cheese to get a reward. But how did the dogs get on? Right first time for Toto, but was that just luck? When we changed the strings around, Toto went back to the same side every time, regardless of where the cheese was. And it was the same for all the dogs we tested. Oh, wrong one. Side preference, possibly. But no cheese for you, babe. I'm really noticing with these dogs, once they pick a side, they tend to just stick with the side. Why is that? I would love to know that myself. Either they don't have other ideas, or just simply they are not that flexible in general in solving problems and trying to come up with new ideas when the first solution didn't work. So what about the wolves? Now she can see all the way to the end of the string from there. A good start for Shima, but will she work out what's going on when the strings are switched? No hesitation. Averaging four out of six, the wolves were obviously better at this task than the dogs, and Jofi found the same result time and time again. Based on this evidence, it would seem that domestication has made dogs less intelligent, but Jofi thinks it's more complex than that. There's a hypothesis, scientific theory about that, that wolves would have better physical understanding because um, wolves still live in the wilderness. They have to cope themselves with all their environment and find their own food, I don't know, escape from some situations and so on. And for this, they need their independent problem-solving abilities. And the dogs live in a lot more artificial world and they are protected by humans, so they don't need these problem-solving abilities maybe that much anymore.